Hello, everyone. I'm assistant professor at Tsinghua University School of Medicine. Today, I'm going to share with you our recent finding published on this issue of brain, which is entitled "In Vivo Stress Granule Misprocessing Evidence in a Fast Locking LS Mouse Model." At the beginning, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our collaborators, Dr. Feng Cao Wang and Ji Songguan, for their help. On、uh, animal model generation and two photon imaging, recently mutations in genes encoding two RNA binding protein TDP43 and FAS has been associated with ALS and FTD. Most strikingly, TDP43 and FAS pathology has been observed in a large proportion of these diseases. Underscoring the critical roles of these RNA binding proteins in pathogenesis, however, the disease mechanism are still largely unknown. Recently, TDP43 and FAS has been identified in stress granule, a cytoplasmic RNA protein complex, which often appears under stress conditions to temporarily cease RNA translation initiation. Underscoring Misregulation of stress granule processing could be pathogenic. In neurodegenerative disease field, disease modeling has been an issue for decades, which impedes mechanistic study and translational research. Conventionally, people employ transgenic approach to generate disease model, like overexpression of SOD1 mutation in mouse. Although those models significantly gain our insights into disease mechanism, people may argue the potential artifacts driven by the ectopic overexpression. Besides, transgenic approach also has other caveats showing bottom left to reflect the disease nature. In fact, patients often carry a long synonymous mutation instead of overexpression. Here we selected one of. The most frequent ALS fast mutations are 521c to generate a locking ALS mass model. Using this rational model, we provide in vivo evidence that stress granule misprocessing is pathogenic. Hello, everyone. I'm Xue Zhang, the first author of this paper. In the following section, I'm going to introduce the rest part of this research. Firstly, open field and root row tests were conducted to examine the motor ability. As the histogram shows, a decline of spontaneous local motor activity was observed in the seven months old knocking animals. Also, compared to the wild type, both histogram and homozygous knocking groups showed significant drop of the ringing time at both the four and seven months of age. In addition, the corresponding loss of peripheral motor axons can be observed in knocking mutant animals. What's more, a obvious motor neural loss can also be seen in mutant mice at two years of age. Stress granule misprocessing caused by fast mutation has been heavily studied in vitro, while the in vivo evidence is lacking. Therefore, to monitor the stress granule dynamic in vivo, we employed two photo imaging and label stress granule with TIA1 EGLP, because TIA1 is a stress granule marker. Using the EGLP signal, we able to trace TIA1 postgranule processing before and after stress challenge. In the mutant motor cortex, but not in the wild type, more TIA1 postgranule were formed, and more TIA1 move into the granule arts after stress treatment. Interestingly, most of mutant stress granule were clean up by weeks. More importantly. The TIA1 EGLP positive neurons disappeared in the fast mutant motor cortex after arsen treatment, according to their different cell phase and stress granule performance. T 
TI1 EGLP portal neurons are classified into four categories, including neuron disappeared, neuron with no granule formation, stress granule recovered, stress granule recovering by the end of our experiment. To clarify the difference between the recovered and the disappeared mutant neurons in processing of TI1 portal granules, we reconstructed the 3D shape of TI1 portal granules in those two categories. After data analysis, the neuron with severe granule misprocessing died days after stress challenge. Therefore, we argue that stress granule misprocessing is pathogenic in ARS. Last but not least, we also want to show our appreciation to the founding suppose.